station on space to ground. Science time on the International Space Station. Welcome to Space to Ground, I'm Dan Hewitt. A ton of science just arrived on station and the Expedition 50 crew is already getting it done. One experiment fired up this week was the microgravity expanded stem cell study taking place in the microgravity science glove box. NASA's Peggy Whitson activated the investigation, which is looking to utilize the microgravity environment on station to accelerate the expansion of human stem cells, something that could be useful in a lot of medical treatments on Earth. The cells cultivated on station will be used in clinical trials to measure their effectiveness in treating disease and could improve therapies for stroke patients or even provide insight on how to help prevent and treat a number of cancers. One of the station's most important life support systems is getting an upgrade. There are two carbon dioxide removal assemblies, or CEDRAs, aboard the station that are responsible for scrubbing the CO2 exhaled by astronauts from the station's atmosphere. The absorbent material that enables this process breaks down over time, which means it needs to be replaced. This week, the crew did a complete breakdown of one of the units and swapped in newer generation components to make future replacement of this material easier. CEDRA is an example of technology that is important for any long duration spaceflight mission, including when we send humans onto Mars. Our Twitter question this week comes from Marcus in Mrs. Estevez's sixth grade class at Secaucus Middle School. Marcus wanted to know how often we send supplies to the ISS. Let's take a look at 2016 to find out. Seven cargo ships made the journey to the station to deliver tons of supplies to the crews on board. They included U.S. commercial craft like SpaceX's Dragon and Orbital ATK Cygnus and spaceships from our international partners, including the Japanese HTV and the Russian Progress. We typically resupply often enough to have about six months worth of food, water, and other consumable items on the station, not to mention flying new science experiments as frequently as possible to get the most use out of our orbiting laboratory. Keep sending your questions using the hashtag space to ground We'll see you next week. Subscribe for more space. space. space.